Welcome to another Meeples and Milkshakes unboxing video. We received two shipments today. We weren't expecting them until Monday, but they're both here and we're going to see what's in them. Okay, here's some more, more games. Now we're into the Asmodee boxes. Have some Days of Wonder, makers of Great games like Ticket to Ride, Small World. This is like, um, you know, if you like Risk, it's kind of like Risk, but you know, instead of uh, dice chucking, it's a little bit more deterministic. Uh, very fun game. There's all these different uh, races um, and what are they called? They're races and powers and you get to mix mix them together. So you can have stout Amazons and dipl diplomatic skeletons uh, commando ghouls, for example, uh, and you're, it's an area control game. You're trying to control as many areas as you can and and uh, take your opponent's pieces off the map in order to achieve that. This has been around for a long time. I've had this in my collection for as long as I can remember now. Probably has to be, I mean, I would guess 10 years, but maybe not quite, maybe eight. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very good game. I'm just gonna take everything out. We've talked about Marvel Champions in the past, but again, this is the new living cooperative living card game. Great family game. So if you have uh, people in your household that like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like cooperative games, like card games, can't recommend this enough. This is uh, somewhat based on the system uh, of the Arkham Horror living card game, cooperative game sort of derivative of that mechanically, and that is um, one of my favorite games of all time and one of the games I've spent the most time playing of all time, Marvel Champions. And we do have quite a few of the expansion packs in. Dead of Winter Crossroads game, another cooperative game with an optional betrayer. You don't know if there's a betrayer in this game and you're trying to protect your colony from a, a zombie onslaught. This is, this is a very good game. Trying to order good games. You know, we don't have the biggest selection in the world or in Canada. Because we're new. We're just trying to focus on the stuff that we think that people can enjoy right now. When they're able, to, when they're not really able to mix with all their friends. So things they can play at home with smaller group, with their families. This is the uh, starter set for Keyforge Worlds Collide, the third um, third set of uh, Keyforge cards. A great two-player uh, card game made by the, uh, designed by the creator of, of uh, Magic the Gathering. Fantastic game. Instead of building your decks like you do in Magic the Gathering, the decks are pre-built, randomly generated, and well, procedurally generated. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a way to build a synergistic deck that will actually be fun to play. And this box will contain two unique decks that exist nowhere else in the world. And uh, yeah, also has some mats and tokens and a rule book and all of that. Dixit is the next game we're gonna look at. I actually don't own a copy of this game myself, which I find surprising. I have no excuse for it. I have played this, I know people who have it, maybe that's why. Uh, but uh, Dixit, picture is worth a thousand words. And this is a game where you're giving out these um, abstract art cards and uh, you're, you're trying to guess a clue. And uh, it's been a couple years since I've played this. I would do a terrible job of explaining it any better. But this is an amazing family game. That's why it says that right on the box. So. Uh, this would uh, this works for kids as well, although maybe you know it does say eight plus. I think that's about right. I think it. I think eight year olds could play this. Yep, for sure. It's a it's an award winning um, family game. Digs it. This is Cher one of Cheryl's favorite games. She'll play that anytime, anywhere. Dice Forge. This is a fun and very unique game. I don't know if you can get pictures of those dice there in the picture, but you actually get to pop the faces off these dice 
and replace them with other faces. There's a tray here that fits nicely on the top of the box full of die faces that you can, you just pop those faces off and you replace them as part of the game. And then you're buying these cards to get points and it's a bit of an engine builder game. The fun part about this is that every, if let's say you're playing a four player game, on everybody's turn, you get to roll your dice. Not just on your turn, on everybody's turn. So you're always getting things and you're hoping that you're building up really good dice so that by the time it's your turn, you have lots of resources to do things, fun things on your turn. Oh, hurrah. Well, we have another copy of Dice Forge. I'm just gonna put that aside with the other one. What is that? Oh, this is the expansion for Newton. Uh, well, you see how it came. I mean, it's just a tray of cardboard and it's already been popped off. Sorry about that, but I'm sure it won't impact your ability to enjoy it because you'd need to remove it from the cardboard anyway. Um, Newton is a really good game. I don't... Oh, we do have copies of it. I, I couldn't remember if I ordered it. But uh, one second here. This is the expansion for Newton. Newton is a brilliant uh, worker placement game. I've played this once and I thoroughly enjoyed it. This, this game is also in our uh, Board Game Cafe library. Yeah, I think you should uh, watch some reviews on this game. Now, Patchwork. This copy is actually, as far as I'm concerned, damaged. So I'm going to discount it. I don't think it will affect play at all, but I'm gonna take, um, take a few dollars off the price uh, because it is definitely caved in. Um, yeah, but Patchwork is one of the best two-player games that uh, exists, in my opinion. Uh, me and Cheryl play this and enjoy it a lot. You are trying to take these, uh, these uh, Tetris-like pieces and put them onto your board and uh, make your board as uh, full as possible. And uh, you collect these buttons on the pieces and the buttons are like your currency, like your money for... Uh, buying other other uh, tiles during the game. It's a quick game, very easy to learn. Perfect family game, you can play that with kids, adults. I actually bought a copy for my parents. All right, so now we have another um, Marvel Champions Wrecking Crew scenario pack. So once you've played the scenarios that come in the base game and you want some more, there's some more fun. Now, oh, also another uh, Thor hero pack. More character cards for enjoying that game. And then there's another Wrecking Crew scenario pack here. Then we have some of the special scenario packs for Arkham Horror, the card game. These are bigger packages than the usual scenario packs come in. They're, they're usually this size like uh but for arkham horror but these are the ones that oh actually this one is a demo this i'm gonna put this aside this is um the the scenario that they release at gen con which is one of the biggest um see there you can see gen con 2017 originally featured as as arkham knights 2017 at gen con this is the scenario they that they played at that convention and uh, this one in particular was uh, very well regarded. When it first came out, it was basically impossible to get. And now that they've reprinted it, it's finally available. So if you're an Arkham Horror fan, you'll enjoy that. Now, until Gloomhaven unseated it, this uh, was the number one game on Board Game Geek, Pandemic Legacy Season 1. This, sort, this game sort of uh, led and started the revolution of legacy uh, games, campaign games. This is a version of Pandemic where you will play in a persistent world. The effects that happen in the game, you will, will like persist on the board. You will 
actually put stickers and make different changes and even tear up cards and things like that when you're done with them in this game and you play through an entire year you'll play 12 games of pandemic in this and at the end of the game uh it will look very different than when you when you started and uh new new games bring in different uh mechanics and things like that as well this uh is a great uh it plays up to four players so if you're going to be stuck at home for a while and you want something to keep you interested with your family I uh, can't recommend that enough. I would say probably not for the littlest kids. What does it say on the box? 14 plus? Yeah, that's about right. I think 12, uh, 12 year olds could probably play this game, but I think, I think that's fair. 14 plus. On to the fourth box from Asmodee. Wow. That is a big box. First of all, we have another copy of Dixit. This is a demo copy. Now we do have a copy for the library. There we go. I need to put this aside. Arkham Horror. This is the original, well, the third edition of the original Arkham Horror game. Not the living card game. This is the board game. This is the third edition. I've played the second edition, but not the third edition yet. I believe the, the one of the interesting things about this is the modular board. Take a look. There's actually a lot of expansions for this game as well and it's uh, beloved. So if you've been looking for Arkham Horror, we now carry that. And then there's the Beast, Mansions of Madness, second edition. And the thing about the second edition of this game, Mansions of Madness, is that you use an app as the uh, sort of the referee in this game. So you'll want like a tablet or a laptop or even a phone uh, at your side while you play this with your friends and you can play it solo I believe you can play this solo thanks to the game refereeing or the app refereeing for you uh, look at the beautiful miniatures in this game so nice yeah so you can download an app from the app store and uh, I've heard very good things about this I have not played it myself but I've heard nothing but good things about this game and then filling up this box strategically more marvel champions packs when these get sold out uh, it can take a long time for fantasy flight to reprint these and so i wanted to get some extras so that uh, we wouldn't uh, run out and then be totally out of stock on these for a long time that would be sad you know people are buying the base game uh, Marvel Champions or Arkham Horror base games they are going to want um, access to those packs and we want to be able to offer them. Box five of six. This one and one more to go. Braintopia. I have not played this. This is actually the kids version of the game though. A game that tests your thinking, memory, and speed. I haven't played this. It's not really, I'm not really the target age for this game, but uh, this was recommended as one of the best um, kids games to get, and we wanted to have a good selection of kids games. I've been saying that all along. So here's some more adding to the kids game selection. Now, we have our first Catan expansions in stock. Cities and Knights, which I've heard called like an essential expansion. If you're playing Catan, you should have Cities and Knights. I've actually never played with Cities and Knights. I've only played uh, Catan, the base game, which come, it's kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, I've played other versions of Catan, but never expansions. And then there's uh, Seafarers, which is... Uh, very popular, and um, sorry to say this is actually already spoken for. Um, this was special ordered, and I was only able to get one copy, or I would have got more. Small and yet great, Animal, animal Upon Animal. This is a very small little version of Animal Upon Animal, and for uh, little kids. There we go. More kids games. Oh, and another copy of Patchwork, and this copy is in very good condition. So if you want one where the box isn't caved in in the back, we do have one. 
two more copies of Star Wars Legion, the epic miniatures war game. There it is. There are a lot of miniatures in this box. There are quite a few uh, Legion players in Penticton proper and in the surrounding areas and in Kelowna, the Okanagan in general. So if you do get into this game uh, and you're looking for people to play with, I can uh, point you in their direction. And I know the people who play would uh, love to to uh, welcome more people into their group of people that play the game. So Star Wars Legion, That's the tape just tore. And we have our work cut out for us getting all these ready on the website. Okay, so we finally have the second version of Azul, Stained Glass of Sintra. This is a bit, a bit different than the original Azul, but still based on the same mechanics. You're drawing tiles from these dishes. And uh, yeah, I would recommend watching a video about, about uh, Sintra. This is a really good game. We now have all three uh, versions of Azul. This is Eldritch Horror, which is also a game in the Arkham Horror universe. And it's a bit lighter than the Arkham Horror board game we talked about. A bit different. I have played this uh, and I enjoyed it. One interesting thing about this game is it plays up to eight players. Like, yeah, that's very different. You can check this out on uh, lots of different websites, reviews, YouTube, etc. Do you know this game is uh, highly respected, so we brought it in. We're going to carry Arkham Horror and the Arkham Horror card game. It just makes sense to have Eldritch Horror as well. And last but not least, certainly not least, Mysterium. This is one of the best... Uh, cooperative games that I've ever played. Uh, award winning, in fact. Uh, one person acts as the um, ghost, trying to help everybody else discover how the ghost was murdered. And uh, somewhat uh, Dixit, Dixit like in these um, uh, abstract cards that are passed out to players to help give uh, clues. These are called psychic visions in this game, these clues. Um, this is a game that plays up to seven players, but also plays fantastic at smaller player counts like four and five. So there we go. Two big shipments in today. We're going to be working hard tonight and uh, tomorrow to get all of these ready for sale online at meeples.ca. And uh, we hope that you're able to enjoy these soon and uh, keep yourself entertained and busy and occupied uh, during these uh, trying times. So thanks for watching our video again, and uh, please like the video, and also if you've been enjoying these videos, please subscribe to our channel and press that bell. You'll get notified when we post new videos, and that will help uh, spread the word about our channel and about our store, which will help us to continue to stock a great selection of games for you and uh, ensure that our that uh, when we're ready to open the Board Game Cafe that uh, we can uh, have a successful go at it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave comments on the video and we'll be sure to answer. And uh, if you have any questions about any other questions about these products, you can ask on the video or you can contact us on our website, again, at meeples.ca, where we're selling puzzles, board games, role-playing games, dice, and more. So. Again, uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.